Rolling. Hey, great to be back on Daily Impact, and uh, it's good to have all of us back together again. Mr. Woosley? Here we go. <laughs> With the game time, literally no prep time went into this. We're just going to give it, I'm going to take, take something, they're going to close their eyes. First, they're going to close their eyes. Then they're going to take, you should have seen this. They're going to close their eyes. I'm going to take something. They're going to guess what's missing. It's, it's, one, it's one and done. Here we go. Close your eyes. Right. What do we have here? We have uh, Lego, Lego, Timer, Timer, Timer Bear, yeah. Abraham Lincoln, Ethan Price. <laughs> okay. 3D printer. That's right. Lincoln, printer, Lego. All right. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Here we go. Eyes. Eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. Open. The little man. Wow, the little man. How'd you guess that so fast? Oh, that's, what I, that's what I look for look first. first for the little so, man. There we go. Uh, hey, all right. If you're keeping track, I'm on a roll here. I, I, I feel like I won the last game. The last, the last game. game. What was the last game? That would have been on the live show. That was. Mm -hmm. Was it? Wasn't it? No, we'll just go with what I said. I, I think I'm on a roll. Yeah, I need on a roll. No idea. <laughs> okay. We started a new series uh, last time on the birth of Christ. And really what we're going to do is we're going to get into some of the high points of Jesus' ministry. By the way, it is good to have you back, and I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're going to get into some of the high points of Jesus' ministry. And, uh, but before we do that, we want to talk about some of the characters surrounding his birth. So you remember last time, mm -hmm. talked about Joseph and Mary, um, and, and both... Um, we could have we could have spent a show, you know, an entire time on Joseph or Mary, uh, but just an excellent study, a lot to learn mm -hmm. from those two characters in the, in the Word of God. Yeah, so there's so much information when you look at the birth of Christ, the fact that it was the fulfillment of all these prophecies, and we talked about that in the last show, all the fulfillment. Um, and you look at the characters surrounding his birth. We we could take days and talk about this. You know, but we're just going to quickly go through it and, and just hit some high points here about the different characters surrounding the birth of Christ. So you have Mary, you have Joseph. And I want to take a minute and turn our attention to Matthew chapter 2 and talk about Herod. Because he was the, the king in place at the time. And the Bible says in verse 1, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east of Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? So, scripture's rich. You can run through that and not even catch the fact that the Bible says, Herod the king, he's the king, and the wise men show up and they say, hey, where's the king? Mm -hmm. I mean, Herod, Herod could have said, you're talking to the king. No, 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 the real king, you know, the king of the Jews. And, and so they told Herod something that he didn't want to hear. Right. And his response to it is, I like what you said before. We said he's certainly the villain of the story. He was on the, a murderous spree. He's he's paranoid. Um, and what do you do when you hear something that you don't want to hear from the Bible? Mm -hmm. What's your response? You know, it's a good question for all of us. I mean, if if he certainly didn't wake up that day hoping to hear people say a king was born, mm -hmm. the real king of the Jews was born. And he took that information that I think in his heart and soul, he, he knew this is, <clears throat> there's meat here. There's accuracy to this. Mm -hmm. So we've got to do away with it. And he acted in rage and anger, yep. murder. And, uh, and while I've never killed anybody or anything like that, there have been times where I've heard a preacher. Yeah. I've read something. I, I've been convicted of something. And my response to the truth, because whether Herod liked it or not, that was the truth. <laughs> a king had been born. My response to the truth really does determine so much. Mm -hmm. And so think about Herod. Yeah. You know, I think if you want to be average young people, then when when something is brought to your attention that either you don't like or maybe it's a criticism or it's some instruction that's contrary to what you're doing, take the next few minutes and just mentally defend yourself because that's what everybody else does. 
That is average. That is what a normal person mm. does. If you want to be above average, if you want to be excellent, when something comes into your life, whether it's from the Word of God or a mom or dad or a preacher, if you can take a breath and say, Lord, what would you have me to do with this? Is there some adjustment that I need to make? That is not average. If you can do that, that, that can be life-changing. The Bible says about Mary, she pondered these things. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 so true. And certainly looking back like in history, who's great? Mary or King Herod? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, and, and this yeah. goes for everybody. You know, Brother Jude, I know that, that you can do this. I mean, some of us and I'm I'm very guilty of this because I defend my position for a living. I mean, I, I have to explain well this is the policy and this is why it's the right policy or this is what we're gonna do. And there have been times when I know that I'm wrong, but I can still give you three reasons why I'm not. And, and I know I'm not. I, I know I'm wrong. And some of us, and some of us, if we're not careful, yeah. when something negative comes our way, even from the Word of God or from the man of God, and we know that, you know what, maybe I ought to analyze that, the pride will get in the way. Something that just doesn't line up with what we want, yeah. doesn't line up with with our preconceived notion of the way it should be. Absolutely. You know, here's Herod saying, man, I am the king. He was power hungry. This is the way it should be. Don't come into my life right now and yeah. saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Right. You know, but that happens to us often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lots of lessons to learn about, mm -hmm. about Herod. Yeah. For sure. Next, go to the next character. Mm -hmm. Next character. Yeah. Shepherds. Yeah. Shepherds in a minute. Shepherds and then. <laughs> oh, he's taking Shepherds the in a minute or less. <laughs> Shepherds, two quick things about the shepherds. They get news just like Herod does, but they make haste to do to do something about it in a positive way, opposite of, of what Herod does. Of what Herod does, they make haste and they go to find Mary and Joseph. And after they they get this news, they make haste to do something about it. It is what God wanted them to do. What the angel of the Lord was telling them to do. Hey, you guys, this the, he's he's been born. They made haste, and then we find them after they listen to what God has for them. They make haste to do it. And the last, really, one of the last things we hear about the shepherds is that they were glorifying and praising God. And I think if we will make haste to do what God wants us to do, we'll be glorifying and praising Amen. Him as well. Amen. You know, I, I got, I've got the last one, and that's the angels. And the angels say famously, peace, goodwill to men. That was their tidings that they brought. Yeah. Understanding, though, that there isn't peace on the earth. You know, And even in this time, um, there wasn't goodwill towards men. I mean, we find Herod killing all, you know, trying to kill all the babies. So, mm -hmm. so what is this peace and goodwill uh, towards men? I'm in Romans chapter 5. Uh, verse number one says, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That peace should be with God through Jesus. And if you don't feel that peace, mm. work to align yourself with God through Jesus. Make haste. Make haste to align yourself, your will, with God through Jesus. So the miraculous birth of Christ turned the world upside down. The whole Old Testament now has to grapple with the birth of Christ. All these characters in the story, from Herod to Mary and Joseph and their plans and the shepherds and their jobs, it's just the birth of Christ interrupted everything. And what do we do when we are inconvenienced and interrupted with the truth of the Word of God? Yeah. How do we respond? Yeah. And, uh, and I like your point, we respond with haste. To do what God wants. Amen. We find peace, we find joy, and rejoice in that way. God bless you, young people. We love you. Have a good day.